Hello everyone. My name is Keith, amateur radio call WD4PTJ. And I'm going to make a statement that I wouldn't have made 20 years ago to start this video. It was not a mistake when the FCC dropped the Morse code requirement to get an amateur radio license. I would not have said that 20 years ago. Just a little quick background. The FCC dropped the uh, code requirement for the tech license in 1993, what became known as a no-code tech license. They dropped the, five, the uh, speed requirement for all the higher class license to five words per minute in 2001 and totally eliminated the code requirement in 2007. In the early 2000s, when the idea of dropping the Morse code requirement was being discussed, I was against it. And when that discussion would come up amongst uh, fellow hams, you know, I'd, I'd let it be known that I was against it, you know, but I always tried to, to do it in a civil and polite way. I didn't insult uh, people who had a tech license and had not learned code by telling them that uh, they weren't real hounds. But if the, and I didn't bring this, usually didn't bring the subject up myself. I didn't just, you know, come out out of the blue myself and say that they don't need to drop the requirement. But a few times that, that discussion would come up, I would, you know, let it be known that I, I was not in favor of it. However, now, I look back on it, and it was not uh, a bad idea to drop the uh, Morse code requirement. And so you're asking, well, why have you changed your mind? The reason I've changed my mind about this is that I know a number of local hams here in my community that either did not get their license when the code requirement existed or they did not uh, upgrade past tech at the time because of the code requirement. And these hams have now become, now that they have gotten their license, they've now become key people in the local ham community here. They've built some of the local, re and maintained some of the local repeaters. They've started local emergency deaths on those repeaters. They've been net control operators on VHF and HF nets. They've been net managers on some of those nets. They've taken key leadership in the local clubs and, and in the ARRL. They've helped to organize field day activities. I would hate to think that the hounds that I'm talking about did not get into amateur radio and make the contributions that they have because of a code requirement. And I'm sure that that doesn't just apply to hams locally that I'm speaking of, but there are plenty of hams all across the country, all across the United States, that have also made uh, contributions that might not have gotten into amateur radio if we still had the code requirement. This is by no means an anti-CW video. I think it's great that Morse code is still... Uh, a key part of amateur radio, and there are still plenty of people using it. My CW uh, is a little little rusty. Uh, I don't do it as much as I used to. Uh, the hearing, Some of the hearing loss I have has made it hard to pull call signs out of a pileup, but uh, I, I still enjoy it from time to time. I just don't think it's... Uh, needs to be a requirement anymore and and I'm I'm not shallow enough to admit that uh, that I was wrong that uh, when I w used to think that it should remain a requirement I know there are going to be people that are going to disagree with me from time to time you see hams on social media saying that they need to bring the code requirement back that that's going to solve bad operators or whatever it's been almost 20 years since it was completely dropped. And so that's never going to happen. They're never going to bring the code requirement back. That's something that you just might as well accept. You know, it's, it's, not going to, uh, it's not going to happen. 
I know that some people are going to disagree with me about this, and that's okay. Uh, just please be respectful about it. I'm not above admitting that I was wrong about it. And I just want to make this video and kind of pay tribute to the the local hams that, uh, that I'm talking about that have made such a contribution that got into amateur radio after the Morse code requirement was dropped. Uh, I think most of them, without calling out names, know, know who they are. And uh, I just wanted to uh, acknowledge them and how they inspired this me to make this video. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell so that you know when we make another video. Till next time, 73 everyone.